Hi, I'm Claire Chater and I want to ask you, can healers be ill themselves? Is that accepted? In my book, it really is. But I don't know whether, you know, if you're a famous healer and world renowned, that you got ill, would it be acceptable to tell all your followers that you're ill yourself? Because they might think, well, he's no good if he, she is no good if they're ill themselves. How can they be a decent healer if they're diseased? They must not be channeling the light through them properly because otherwise they wouldn't be able to carry any illness. I think that's a load of twaddle because I would prefer to have somebody working on me that knew trauma, that knew pain, that had been through disease, discomfort, because they'd know where to look and where to find it, versus somebody working on me that had never had anything go wrong, oh so spiritual, beautiful, 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 um, and had never been through anything. Because I think pain and disease is there to teach us something, to help us evolve, to help us grow and become who we are. And the learning, the self-development and self-learning is what grows the soul, is what for me makes the soul more powerful so someone that had never been ill, never knew disease, that was doing healing, I would say, I would challenge them to say, is it possible to know what you have not experienced? And is it, is it possible to find something that you have not found within yourself? It might be, and that's fair enough. Um, but for me personally, the bigger the trauma, the bigger the scar, the bigger the lesson. And, and the bigger the impact. So it's just something that I've been thinking about recent, recently. You know, if you're oh so spiritual and a divine healer is it acceptable to, to, to say oh actually I'm ill I've got ill um, and then you know during your healing time something else is going to come along and you might find that you're then learning and developing through something else which is going to help you to heal you know it's not like healers are using their own energy body to put their energy into somebody else because that's not healing um, you're working on your own self and just giving love and light and being a channel for something that's way more powerful and intelligent because it doesn't have ego battling and thinking it it just it's just so pure. Um, so I suppose if, in, if you're a healer that if you can't say that you're real, it's like saying, well, I do the healing. And for me, I don't do the healing. So if I'm like, oh, I've got cancer, but I'm a shamanic healer, I would say I'm really ill. But then again, I think some people would be deterred. They'd be like, oh, well, she's got cancer and she's a healer. She, she can't be any good, so I won't go and see her. It's weird, huh? Whereas I'd go, oh, what a magical thing for that person to be working through. Or I suppose it's that pity thing, isn't it? Because you would pity someone. You'd be like, oh, no, I, I, maybe I shouldn't go and see her for treatment now because she's probably, you know, she's working on herself. And that's fair enough. I think you probably would. If I was ill as a as a, a healer then exactly you take a bit of time do yourself for a little bit um but then it would make you 
make you more powerful and more beautiful. Yes, I'm going to go and give this one some attention. Love, love, love and light. Mwah.